you grew up knowing Joe Gallo. I guess he was uh, Uncle Joe to you. Yes. I got okay. when I was real small, you know, when I was real small, I was real, very young when he went to jail. And uh, I was like seven, six, like that. Uh, so I know him from, I know him from pe pinching my cheeks until I cried. That was, that was his MO, man. Come in and pinch your cheeks until you cry. That was his showing affection. So I was used to that. He did it, and his two brothers did it. Lavi didn't do it as much, but uh, Blast did it, Albert did it, and, and Joey was crazy about doing you know, pinching cheeks until you cry. Right. So, so Joe Gallo, a.k.a. Crazy Joe, uh, I guess he ran all the unions. Right. Well, they had they had people to run the unions. I mean, it's, it's what you have. You know, uh, he had uh, I think he had Joe Shep Joe Shep, you have to put Joe Shep in your pocket. Then you have the control of, of things. You know, Joey was big in the jukebox and uh, business, games, pinballs, jukeboxes. That was his his uh, lifeline. You know, uh, that was uh, Joey's lifeline. He that's where he tried to build and branch out and and make the chunk of his money at the time before he got pinched. Okay, so in 1971, uh, Joe Colombo, who was the head of the Colombo crime family, right. was attending a rally for Italian-American civil rights. And uh, a black guy went up to him and ended up shooting him in front of everybody. Yes, and wound up getting shot and got killed. Yeah. Right. And they blamed Joey Gallo. Right. Joey Gallo got blamed for this because I guess Gallo would associate with, with black guys in prison and was using them for, for his various uh, dirty well, work, essentially. Well, Joey got friendly with uh, Nicky Bonds in, 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 while he was in jail and stuff. So they, when they put that together, I mean, we were always friends. Even before Joey was in jail, we were always friends with blacks. We used to go to East New York. We used to go to Brownsville. We used to collect numbers. So we were always intermingled with the blacks in Spanish or or uh, Arabic, so we're making money. So we always had a uh, hand in with them. But when Joey was in jail, he wound up getting close with Nicky Bonds, you know, and uh, when he got out and uh, he had the argument with Joey Colombo, and then uh, Joey got, wound up getting shot. And, and, and they, it was a black guy, so uh, um, they blamed Joey right away, Gallo. You know, I, I said it wasn't, but... Uh, they, everybody argues that it was, but I say it wasn't. So, you know, it's too obvious, too stupid. And they also said that we would have been off the street. They wouldn't have made us walk around the street like a bunch of suckers. You know, everybody got, everybody would have got a whisper. Or any of us would have got a whisper. Something was going on. I got whispers for a lot of other things. I got, I would have got whisper for that. So, that was one of my, uh, my reasons why we didn't do it. Now I'm young. You know what I mean? They keep things from you. You know, nobody walks up to you and go, oh, we're going to kill Joey, uh, Joey Colombo today. That doesn't work that way. Only the people that's involved in it is going to wind up, uh, you know, know all the details. I mean, if there's a three guy hit team, those three guys are going to know about it. Not all 20 of us are going to know about it. That doesn't work that way. Uh, but being all my life there, my answer is not, we had nothing to do with it. Okay. And I interviewed Michael Franzese uh, from the Colombo crime family, and he said he was standing right next to Joe uh, when that happened. Well, they had one big rally, and that went well. Then they had a second rally in Columbus Circle in Manhattan. And you were actually standing next to Joe Colombo when everything went left. Well, I, actually, he had given me, I was up on the stage, and he had given me some brochures to hand out near Lincoln Center. And I remember the last words he said to me uh, that day. He said, Michael, hand these out. Uh, just everybody that you see, get him to come to the circle here, the rally. And as I was walking away, he says, and we're going to use this league to help your father. I walked away from him. I was getting to the steps that go, you know, leading off the stage into the Columbus Circle there. And that's when the shots rang out. And initially, we didn't know what happened, but, you know, it was, uh, it was just hysteria at that point. Anyways, I wasn't there. We were not allowed to go yeah. that day. We were told to stay out of the, out of the rally. That was, but we, they didn't want us to go to the rally the year before either. But that year, they, it was a protest. Joey Gallo was protesting that, you know, that we shouldn't go there anyway. So we weren't going to be there anyway. So uh, Michael was there. Michael was there. I like Michael. Michael's a good guy. Uh, if Michael was there, he's there. Okay. Did you interact at all with Michael Frenzies? Yeah, we had a lot of 
years ago, we had uh, uh, my father was good friends with his father, Sonny. So we used to meet in um, Georgetown once a week, many, many, many years ago. And everybody would talk, and you know, we used to drink. And you know, his father, my father, used to, you know, talk what they had to talk about. And if we weren't in that conversation at the time, we would have a drink. Uh, but yeah, for a whole summer, a whole year, probably a whole more than a whole summer, we were doing things together in. Uh, uh, had to be the 70s, if I'm mistaken. It's a long time ago. Could be the 80s, but we are the 70s. I happen to like Michael. Michael, to me, is a, a good guy. Well, uh, Joe Colombo gets shot. He lives, but he's paralyzed for the rest of his life until seven years later he ends up dying. Right. Uh, Joey Gallo gets blamed for this. Right. And then, at this point, does a, a whole war break out? Well... There's a, between, after Joey gets, after Joey Colombo gets shot, yeah, a couple of guys, a couple of guys get sh uh, shot at, a couple of guys die. Uh, Joey was told to lay low, Joey Gallo was told to lay low, because they were blaming him. And uh, Joey didn't listen. Joey didn't listen. He was, he was one of those guys saying that nobody's going to kill me, they ain't got the balls, you know. He, he had no fear. Joey had no fear. And uh, he wound up killing him. <laughs> 